Right now, as you're watching this video, the Ethereum blockchain is processing two separate chains at the same time. One is updated and the other is an older version which has a bug and could potentially lead to a double spend attack and even affect chains compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine like Polygon or the Binance Smart Chain. Why did this happen and how will it affect everyday Ethereum users coming right up after the short message from our sponsor. Fetch AI has unveiled the first of its kind AI and machine learning based NFT platform called CoLearn Paint. It enables a group of creators to automatically generate art using machine learning and AI to create abstract compositions and collectively earn from the proceeds of its sale on OpenSea. To learn more about Fetch AI's CoLearn Paint, visit this website. A bug in a previous version of Ethereum's main node software called Geth caused the chain to split in two. This was warned on the 18th of August by the Twitter communication channel for Go Ethereum when they announced a new patch release for the Geth client. This is kind of a big deal since Geth is the most popular software and makes up 3,866 of the total 5,022 Ethereum nodes. So 74% of the Ethereum blockchain is operated with Geth. The idea with Geth is that anyone can download it to verify transactions on the Ethereum network. When you do this, you become a node operator, and the rule of thumb is that the more nodes a network has, the more decentralized it is. Nine days after the announcement, Go Ethereum tweeted this and urged Geth clients to update. When we have a look at ethernodes.org, we see roughly 55% of Geth versions are running the latest bug-free version, which is an improvement from the 27% reported by Decrypt a few days back. So is there anything to worry about? Well, this isn't the first time Ethereum is experiencing such an issue. A very similar situation happened at the end of 2020, when Geth clients didn't update on time, which resulted with a split in the chain. They claimed it happened due to a lack of communication, which is understandable because when you're making the these announcements public, you're making the network vulnerable to attacks. Although seemingly this time with a more public strategy, it worked out fine without any critical issues. The other question is what's happening on the other, older, unupdated chain? Nothing much, really. Transactions submitted on the older chain are relying on a small number of out-of-date miners with very low hashing power. This low hashing power could put the transactions at the 51% attack and double spends. And that's pretty much it. Nothing much to be worried about. Only thing you should consider doing is maybe going out for a walk, as Andre puts it. So that's it for today. We'll be back with a tutorial tomorrow. Goodbye.